What's up guys, Marco from Copper the Glass here. Just a very quick video for you guys now on a new app that is out for the iPhone and also for the Mac. Uh, it's an app called InstaShare and what it basically allows you to do is transfer things from your iPhone to your Mac or your PC, Windows or anything like that using either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, you don't have to use cables and things, and best of all, you don't necessarily have to sync it to iTunes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look into this now and just see how it works. First time that I've used it, but it does say that it's super easy to use, so we're gonna put that to the test. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is open up InstaShare on our device. So what you're then greeted with is a, a section here of either pictures or videos and things that you can transfer from here to here. Now the statistics that it comes up with in terms of how quick it is, is things like a 10 megabyte file, uh, 5 minutes via USB, 5 seconds via InstaShare. So like I said, I've downloaded the software here on my Mac, so you just need to click and open that. Now because I am on the same Wi-Fi, it will pick it up automatically, I have been told, so no setup uh, you know, process involved basically. So if I go into my camera roll, uh, if I just get a picture like this background here, I want to transfer this onto there. So what it's saying at the top, if you see, drag a photo to share. So what you do, you hold down the photo and it takes you to this next page, which is where you can then drag the photo. And it has actually already picked up my MacBook Pro. So if I just hover over there and let go, see it's working there. And what it's now going to do is transfer that over to there. Now there's a message coming up here where it says, I'm going to zoom in and see if that focuses. It says, Michael's iPhone is sending one file with a total size of 129.5 kilobits. Do you wish to accept? Obviously, you've got cancel, always allow, and allow. So, what I'm going to do is because I'm going to be using this in the future, I'm going to click on always allow. What it's then going to do, you can hear from that bing, that was extremely quick. So now if I click on this, it should open it in the preview. And if I then, there you go. So that was actually really quick to do. I'm not sure if you can do um, multiples or anything. I mean, if I just hold down on that. No, so you can't. It is only one at a time, unfortunately. At the moment. Maybe there will be a way in the future to select it. So again, if I just go to a completely different picture, do exactly the same, one that on my Mac. It sends as you can see there. Appears, I've got a little, little notification up in that corner as well. So once I then click on the Instapaper, sorry, Instashare, I keep trying to say here, yeah, Instapaper, it has the file just in there. So again, double click on there, brings up the picture that I've just transferred. So that is super quick. I didn't actually expect it to be that quick. Um, now obviously what you can do as well is you can do it the other way around. So if I close my device completely, if I just close down these preview windows real quick, obviously you can drag files into there to share them. So if I just go down now into my finder real quick, what I'll do is I will bring up a, uh, a wallpaper, for instance, that I'd like. This nice Iron Man one, for instance. If I just drag it up to the icon at the top, looking for devices. If I open it onto, on my Mac at the moment, straight away brings up Michael's iPhone. So if I hover over there, let go, what it's then going to do is transfer that. Again, it's going to ask me for permission on here. Just click on there. And again, it's just going to import that straight away. And again, you can hear that it is done. If I now go back, not sure though where it's going to be. There we go. So if I now go onto my device here, click on where it says wallpaper, and lo and behold, I've got that wallpaper that was just there. So really quick, really easy file management if you do just want to you know, whack a file from your laptop onto your phone before you go out, for instance, or vice versa, when you get back, you think, oh, that's a really nice picture, I want that on there, for instance. So really quick way to do it, obviously you can sync over Wi-Fi using iTunes, yes. Um, you can't necessarily do that doing, uh, for instance, iPhone, you have to use the lightning cable. Um, so this is a really easy way to do it. Obviously there's uh, different settings that you can do on here as well that you can, import straight into iPhoto as well. Uh, I haven't really delved too deep into that, didn't want to make this video that long, but also there's a lot of settings, things that you can uh, play around with in terms of if you want sound to play, uh, the devices launch, login, and, and a lot of things on there, obviously where it's gonna be saving it to. It's got your options there for where you want to save it to. So again, a real nice, really easy, quick device there. Uh, like I say, it's doable over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Uh, the Mac companion app, 
uh, is free from not available in the Mac App Store. Um, only reason being, obviously, because Apple have their own way of importing stuff without wires, so they don't want you to lose, you know, use third-party software. But it is available on the iPhone um, again from the App Store. If you want to get it for your Mac, just go to uh, InstaShare.com and just download it. Um, so, like I say, just a very quick look at InstaShare. I am um, Michael from Copper Glass, and I'll catch you in the next video.